How is it going everyone? Coming at you with a quick video today. Um, the new PSA $30 sub has opened up. So I got stacked cards here uh, that we will be sending. I got 21 total. Uh, nothing crazy high value. Some cool cards in here, but ones that have just been, been kind of sitting around waiting for this to open up. Um, some for personal, some to sell. Uh, most of them all should hopefully grade pretty high. So I'm just going to go through them here with you real quick. I got them broken up into uh, sports here. So the first one's football. We got Antoine Winfield. That's an orange refractor auto. I forget what it's called. Um, it's on my submission form. Orange something. But it's out of 25. Next one is the same card but in a green wave. Sorry, that one's out of 25. This one was out of 75. 75. Green Wave, 25. Next one is a Mac Jones. This was out of Panini Prism Draft Picks. This is the Orange Prism. That one is numbered to 75 also. Not a super high value card, especially being a college uniform, but should be pretty decent. Uh, this guy just won the light heavyweight championship Yuri Prjaska I, I don't know exactly how it's pronounced um, we beat up Teixeira actually choked him out in the fifth round that one is out of prism this year that is out of 25 that's the let's say green pulsar yep This one is a Michael Chandler rookie out of the white speckle packs. It's a Contenders Optic ticket uh, with that white, white sparkle, or the white sparkle pack, sorry. They're not numbered, but I believe there's only 20. I think they're out of 20. It is a little off center, left or right, um, also top to bottom. Uh, hoping for a 9 on that one. But that's a pretty sick card. I picked up at a card show. Um, this one, not super uh, relevant right now. Curtis Blades had a couple tough losses in his last couple fights, but a uh, real solid guy in the heavyweight division. This is a rookie auto blue wave out of uh, 2018 Tops Chrome. And that one is out of 75. We got a Dylan Cousins. Opeachy Platinum, Violet Pixels, Autograph, a little bit off-center, right to left. Uh, that one is out of, oh sorry, that one's not out of it. The regular Violet Pixels are numbered, these ones are not, but they are very, very short printed. This one is out of the 2020 Skybox, it's a Precious Metal Gems, Sidney Crosby, Red, that one's out of a hundred. Technically, it would be out of ninety. The first ten are green, um, so eleven out of a hundred are red. This one I'm hoping for an nine. Probably gonna get an eight. I don't think I've ever seen one grade higher than an eight. They're just real tough on the edges on these skybox precious metal gems. You can see that corner down there too. It's got some uh, issues, but for how rare the card is, we're gonna at least slab it. Jason Robertson, and with any of these young guns, no matter how good they look, they tend to be very, very tough to grade. It seems like PSA gives them a little leeway just because they always seem to have some issues with the corners especially. This one looked pretty sharp, uh, maybe a little tiny bit up in that corner. That's a nice card. I picked up a lot of his young guns. I think I picked up like six of them. That's probably one of the best ones. I got two Josh Norris Young Guns that we sent it in. Both those looked really good. All the corners looked good. Centering, can't really tell, but I, I mean, they look almost identical if you look at like the white speck on the reflection of the guy behind him's helmet. They look pretty much identical, so. Hoping those are uh, treated well. Tim Stutzel, again, Four nice corners, edges all look good, backs look good. 
Hoping for tens, but honestly expecting nines just because young guns are so dang hard to grade. Uh, we got a Patrick Bailey, Bowman Chrome Draft, uh, Bowman Draft Chrome Refractor. Hoping for a ten. Could definitely see a possible nine. It's it's pretty close to sixty forty, both up and down and left and right. So hoping for it. Patrick Bailey's got a lot of upside. Um, should be playing by the end of this year or next year. Um, that would be a nice card to have once he starts playing. Uh, Drew Romo, purple refractor out of 250. That one is also out of the 2020 draft picks. Nice refractor. He's been doing pretty good in minors. Starting to come up crushing the ball uh, we got a Jazz Chisholm it's a rookie debut out of the Mega Box um, Chrome update on uh, the refractors in that are numbered out of 250 so that's a pretty short printed card right there out of 250 I know it is a rookie debut and there has been some issues with him lately but he's still just crushing the ball so Figure we'll send that in now. Now I'm noticing it might be a little bit of a line going through it there, but we'll see. We'll see. All right, a couple of nice big time Bowman cards here. We got a Jeremy De La Rosa auto out of 99. We just pulled that one about a month ago. So that was a huge card. My son were ripping, and he ripped this one out of a pack. It's a Luis Matos, not a first Bowman, but it is a red refractor out of this year's Bowman. Ripped this just a couple weeks ago. That is out of five. He's kind of all over the place. He's up and he's down, but his price is still kind of demand a premium out there. So I figured we might as well grade it for 30 bucks and see what happens. And an Ellie De La Cruz. Just pulled this one just a couple days ago out of a mega box. And that is the Mojo Refractor Gold out of 50. So that is a killer card. He is the number two, if not number one, prospect in this uh, latest release um, between him and Cleo Watson. And this guy's no slouch either. Got James Wood. I got two of his. Both looking pretty good. Possibly some issues top to bottom centering, but a couple Mojo refractors. We'll give them a shot for 30 bucks. We'll send those bad boys in. And the last one, this one's more just for me. I've been sitting on it for a long time. Um, really nice, clean Austin Martin Mojo refractor. Uh, he is a twin now. Working on our minor league system. Hopefully he'll be uh, moving on up here shortly. Um, obviously losing Royce Lewis is going to move this guy possibly up in the lineup. Uh, he is a shortstop, but he is also a outfielder, so he's got a lot of use, a lot of versatility. Um, so we'll see if we see him this year. Twins are always running their minor league prospects around, so. That is the order, all 21 cards. We'll get it all packed up, shipped out. We'll be coming at you with another video with the results here when we get them back. It sounds like these 30, uh, $30 ones are about three month turnaround. They're not gonna start them until they finish their backlog. Um, this just opened up on the 9th, so just a couple days ago, but I'm sure these have already been flooding in. So we'll see uh, how it goes and we'll come back and evaluate our grades.